Guys, you would think that after like almost 10 months in Japan that the struggles of the gaijin would kind of end but it's like reminiscent of like when we first came to Japan. So Still just as hard. Yeah, so what's happening is that like we received our national health insurance within the next remaining couple months that we're here but it's like bloody expensive and um, from what we've done in the past is actually we've brought our papers to the uh, city office and what they did was they just took it and they readjusted our bill to make it a little bit cheaper because what happens if um, the national health insurance is based on your last year's income and because we didn't work in Japan last year technically or technically we started in like what when did we start so October. like yeah we started in like 2016 but like it was only such a short period uh, before 2017 so technically our health insurance should be really not really cheap but a lot cheaper than what it is we're getting billed like almost like $60 per month so we went to our city office and um, they unfortunately told us that we cannot do it there this time I don't know why but they sent us to the tax office which is in a completely different area so um, same city to, but so we had to take a train and another train yeah, so we had to come here to get, just to yeah. get here and then they're like oh you're in the wrong place you got to go to a different place so it's like everyone's like <laughs> telling us something different so we're pretty frustrated now and uh, I don't know should we just make the trek there today yeah, I think we're just gonna go to that area and get our stuff done. So we'll take you guys on adventure. So it's pretty boring. <laughs> So the first place that we went to, um, it actually wasn't the right building, although it said uh, tax Sanjinja Tax Office, which where we needed to go. Oh no, say Taga, yeah. Yeah, was it? Yeah, it said it said the tax office, but it wasn't the right tax office. Because I guess there's more than one. So we actually had, we actually went into the building that was actually before the one that we needed to go to so we didn't go to the further one that we needed to go to and so the first tax office told us oh you should come to a different location so yeah. we took a train to a different station which is actually about four or five stations away to a different tax office and they no 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 you went to the wrong they told you the wrong thing and you're at the wrong place you got to go to that one so it's just been a whole confusion a big headache talking to like so many different people this lady was so nice to take her time yeah. to understand our broken japanese it's really hard to communicate about taxes and like mm -hmm. like all these like really formal terms that we really don't understand and all the papers and kanji, even if I can read kanji, I don't really get how to like explain myself. So Right. So basically what we gotta do now is it's too late today to do anything else, so we gotta go back to that tax office and bring that paper that she so kindly wrote down for us everything that uh, we need to communicate in Japanese. So we just gotta show it to them and hopefully that uh, mm -hmm. wish for the best and that we get what we need, basically. So today is a bit of a failure. So like always, we like always, always have a whole day just running errands and not getting anything done here. <laughs> so expect that when you move to Japan. And it's funny because I don't think I can teach you guys how to do it because we seriously don't know. Like, yeah. even now, we don't know how we can do it right the first time. Maybe we'll make a Which summary is... at the end of all of this, mm -hmm. but... Alright, moving on, let's moving get Moving on, lunch. let's get some food, I'm starving. Hey. 
people with the light. Look, I do this. Then you can't type anymore. walked around didn't buy anything though but i will show you guys what i got from daiso all right i am home i made it home thomas is at karate right now so we split ways and then i went to daiso and i got a couple of stuff so i'll just quickly show you guys what i got because i don't know that's the only thing that's really interesting today i'm really sorry it's kind of like a weird vlog i know we didn't speak much at all let's just turn it into a small random day of the life kind of style like what we always do anyways so here we go Daiso so if you don't know already Daiso is actually a, my favorite dollar store here in Japan there's a couple there's Daiso there's Kendu there's Seria and there's other random little Hakuen stores one dollar shop or one dollar USD or 100 N and I got a couple stuff and sometimes they're not 100 n so they will say if it's a little bit more pricey for example this one is 200 n and it's a vacuum bag so this is for extra large items and you can even put like a whole blanket in there stuff it in the bag oh right here if you put spring sweaters you can put um, about 24 spring sweaters or 12 heavy winter sweaters which is amazing and it's good for six months yes about six months and after that the air will slowly come back so I wanted to get this for as you know we're moving back to Canada soon and we'll need a lot of stuff to bring home to Canada so this will come in handy I just got one and if it works really well I plan on picking up other ones so depending on how much stuff we need and next I got <laughs> q-tips and not just any q-tips but black q-tips because I like them, they work really well. I've had these before. And next one, I got a little pouch. Anyways, it's a camera case. So as you know, or may not know, we vlog right now, I'm recording on a Canon G7X Mark II camera. And I always have this fear of dropping it again, because if you haven't seen our Korea vlog, uh, the camera broke and we spent about $170 US to fix the screen so I right after we fixed it they replaced it with a new screen and now I already got like a protective film sticker on the screen and it's already on the camera right now and I went and got this one as well so whenever I'm not physically using the camera I will make sure that the camera is sitting nicely in this cushion pouch and next I got hmm, buddy What's it called? Body towel. Yeah, it's a body towel. Just one dollar. Yeah. Next one. I got thread. <laughs> I know. Like I just like thinking like, what are you guys even thinking right now while watching this? Like this girl is so dumb. <laughs> or like this is so boring. I don't know. I feel kind of embarrassed. But yes, I got thread. This is um, sewing thread. So Thomas is going for a karate tournament this summer and he has to wear his karate uniform, dogi, with the Canada flag on there. So he asked me to sew it up for him and I thought maybe I should just buy some nicer threads because the one we have is like those cheap hotel little compact travel kits and I don't think they will last long. So I got these threads and they are actually transparent threads so no color at all it looks kind of like a floss like a plasticky floss it's 100% nylon so let's open it up oh look you can barely see it in the future when you have to sew up other stuff and you just don't want to buy the threads to match the color there it is you can't really see it at all right right can you right there yeah so we'll see how this works and that is all i think yes that's everything 
So thank you guys again for joining us. Tomorrow we are planning to go and try that city office again just to get it done. And yeah, maybe I will check out another place and whatnot. But if you're interested in the area we were at today, especially the fancy bookstore area that is in Futago Tamagawa, which is on the Den Toshi line, about six stops from Shibuya. So make sure you guys check it out if you're in the area. I really like that place. Too bad it was raining, so we couldn't walk around a lot. But that's about it. So see you guys again next time. Bye bye.